Yo, what's going on? Did you guys watch the the live hearing of the case with our governor and this? I forget her name. I think her name is Julie uh, Swetnick, the doctor. I was watching it, but I, I didn't watch all of it. Because I had to get ready to go somewhere. But I was watching it for like 30 minutes. And she said something that maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. You guys let me know. But she said that she heard the guys in the room with the female they were harassing and uh, uh, they were having a conversation, right? But when they asked her about it, she said that she didn't hear them having a conversation. So she was asked, how come? You know, she said that they were like down, I think it was like, like down the hallway and the door was closed. So she, she couldn't hear the conversation inside when they were inside the room. But before the guys went inside the room, walking down the hallway to the room, she heard them talking. But didn't she say that she heard them in the room talking? It's not making sense to me. How can you say you heard them in the room talking, but now you said you didn't hear them in the room talking because the door was closed? I don't know. And then the next thing she said was about the, I think his name is Mark Judge, the other guy that was there with um, Kavanaugh, the judge guy. Mark Judge or Mike Judge, whatever his name is. She said that she and her mom went to, I think it was a mall or somewhere like that. And the guy at the time was working. He was um, packing the, or doing something to, to the shopping carts. Whatever he was doing. You know, stocking the, the shopping carts or, or whatever. And she said that, she said hi to the guy. Now mind you, this guy is a part of the sexual allegation. She said that this guy and Kavanaugh assaulted her and they were raping other girls. Now, she said that she saw him and said hi to him. And she said that he was like frightened when he saw her. In her words, his face was white. I don't know what that means, but she said his face was white. And she said that was not the first time she saw him and said hi. And when asked how long was this after the incident, she said six to eight weeks. So how is it this guy assaulted you? Or you saw this guy assault other females. And you, you saw the guy and said hi to him. He didn't say hi to you. He was minding his own business. And this guy assaulted you or assaulted other females. And you saw the guy and went to the guy and said hi. And she went even further to say that she and that guy were friends even after. There's something to that effect. Allegedly. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I need to go check my IQ level. Maybe I'm just stupid. I know it's hard for people to understand me because I speak with an accent. Sometimes I speak fast. But I, I don't know. And there's something else that she said that uh, I can't remember. It was three things I, I pointed out. Uh, oh shit, what was the other one? Darn it. Oh gosh, I, I don't remember. But there's another one. There, there's another inconsistency. I just can't remember what it was. I don't remember what it was. But anyway, listen. This is just ridiculous at this point, okay? That she's a doctor and she's coming out just now. Just now. Now that the guy is a nominee for the Supreme Court. Right now. Right now. After Beverly Johnson and Janice Dickinson and, and all these sluts came out on Bill Cosby and Rose McGowan and all these females came out and Harvey Weinstein 
you're trying to tell me that you were in America and you didn't know about all these sexual allegations. You are living under the biggest rock. And you didn't know anything about these sexual allegations to the point where you would decide to come out now after the guy was nominated. Where were you last month? Where were you in May? Where were you in the spring? Where were you when all these Hollywood females were coming out? I know a lot of people will say, well, this is a white people fight. Stay out of it. I mean, I am staying out of it, but I can't help but to just look at it and see the bigger picture. This is not going to stay among rich and the famous. It's not. The little people are going to be affected by this. The people who can't afford lawyers. <laughs> the everyday brothers. Anyway, I'll be paying more attention to this shit. I'll be giving you guys some updates.